A North Korean delegation touring venues in South Korea today. Preparing for performances set to take the stage during the Winter Olympic Games in just about two weeks from now. This, as the director of the CIA warns, that North Korea is just a handful of months away from being able to strike the U.S. The North Korean delegation, led by the head of the country's orchestra, holding meetings with South Korean officials and inspecting theaters ahead of cultural shows by the North's performers. The delegation's tour had been scheduled for Saturday, but was canceled with no explanation. Dozens of protesters turning out for the visit, burning photos of North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un. The regime is sending 22 athletes to the Winter Games. After diplomatic talks opened up earlier this month between North and South Korea for the first time in two years amid tensions over Pyongyang's nuclear program. The two Koreas will be joining forces on the ice, forming a united women's hockey team. South Korea's head coach saying today she's been assured she'll have ultimate control come game time. It is a tough situation to have our, our team be used for political reasons, but you know, it's kind of something that's bigger than ourselves right now. We even talk to our players like, don't complain about it because it's just negative energy. It's going to make you feel worse. It's going to make you play worse. So just focus on what you can control and we're going to do our best. As for the nuclear threat from North Korea, CIA Director Mike Pompeo telling CBS this morning the regime's weapons program is continuing to expand. How close is Kim Jong-un to being able to deliver a nuclear attack to the territorial United States? A handful of months. But correct me if I'm wrong, I do believe you have used that phrase more than six months ago. You said a handful it's of true. months. true. I hope to be able to say it a year from now as well. The United States government is working diligently to extend that timeline. And today in Tokyo, a drill. Hundreds taking part in an evacuation exercise at an amusement park practicing what they would do in the event of a weapons launch by North Korea. The drill is the first of its kind in the Japanese capital, but other towns across the country have held similar exercises after North Korea fired missiles over Japan last year. And something interesting to point out, there were some protesters during today's drills condemning the exercise as fear-mongering.